Kat, and this video is my October favorites where I show you all of the things that I've been enjoying throughout the month. Bonus, because it's actually starting to cool down, I can drink tea. Um, this mug, this one is from Starbucks, and I actually have a ton of mermaid mugs. I, I collect mermaid mugs, I just think they're the best, and they're beautiful, and I love them. And this month, I have been drinking, it is green tea with roasted rice. And I got this from a Japanese market, but you can find, you know, like different similar things that have the roasted rice. And it gives it this really like nutty flavor that I just love. I think it's the absolute best. It's my favorite. Snack wise, we just made jack-o'-lanterns. So we roasted the seeds and I have been obsessed with these. They are so freaking good. I got like a big gallon bag of them. They're so good. And I'll post the, um, the recipe in the description below for how we roasted them, but they're just like, they're the best snack. And since you know exactly where they came from and you roasted them yourself, like you're not putting a whole bunch of gross, dirty preservatives in your body, which is awesome. Mmm. Now that I have stuff in my teeth. Sometimes when you get headshots taken, like the lighting isn't quite right, or there's like a yellow cast or a blue cast over the photo, and so you have to go in and like edit these photos and make them look, um, true to life and I noticed that from editing some of these older photos that were like maybe six months old that I have way more wrinkles and fine lines and dryness and skin problems in those photos than I do now. I feel like so many of us don't appreciate what we have until it's gone but in my teens I always really appreciated my body and my skin and I still you know I struggle with body image of course like most people um, but my skin, I still love my skin. And I hope that doesn't sound like narcissistic, but I have great skin and it's because I've always taken really good care of it because I've always appreciated it. And of course, like part of that is genetics too. Like my parents both look very young for their age and both my parents grew up in Puerto Rico and were not the best about skincare and they still look great for their age. And then, you know, we all lived in the Gulf of Mexico and so like, we weren't super careful and it wasn't until I was maybe like 12 or 13 that I started wearing a lot of sunscreen like SPF 100 every single day. And so now my philosophy is just to preserve what I have and just keep it healthy and do the absolute best that I can for it because it's never gonna look as good as it does now. That said, <laughs> these are my favorite skincare things from this month. The first one is from Lancome and it is the Visionaire Crescendo. It's a progressive night peel, and so you've got phase one in the top of the bottle and then phase two in this end of the bottle, and you do um, each night for 14 days. And I'm actually not even completely done with phase one, and I've already noticed a difference in my skin. Like, it's smoother, it's more supple, it's staying hydrated more easily, And but I know that I've shown you all this in several videos that I get this wrinkle right in the middle of my forehead right there. And before I did this, if I did that frown, that wrinkle would stay there for, you know, a few seconds. So before I did this, that little line would progressively get more noticeable throughout the day. Um, and now I notice that that doesn't happen. Like I was looking in the mirror last night, thinking about um, which products I wanted to put in this video. And I looked over at that and I looked in the mirror and I was like, that wrinkle's gone. It's just completely, not there anymore like it is when I make it show up but then it goes away which is amazing and not at all what I was expecting from this of course it might seem strange for someone my age I'm gonna be 30 in January to already be thinking about like anti-aging products but I think you know there's no better time to start than when you have something great to preserve because once that's gone it's much harder to get it back Next, I have been enjoying the Patchology Smart Mud Masks. This is a detox mask. I was not expecting much the first time I went and got a mud bath, but oh my lord, it makes you feel so good. And it's all these minerals that are soaking into your skin and they just, it feels so good. You get out and your skin is tingling and it feels amazing. And this gives my face that same tingling, detoxed, cleansed feeling without feeling um, like dry and tight. So I've really been enjoying these. Plus you get the mud mask effect without all of the mess. 
Um, so these next things are from a company called Body Mary and I got the Spot On Blemish Soother as well as the Super 6 Serum. And these are the two skincare things that I got from them. Um, it says, high concentrations of vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, which I love, are combined with optimum levels of retinol, niacinamide, CoQ10, and astaxanthin to form a gentle and effective potion to fight signs of aging. This six-in-one formula not only helps to diminish the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines, but also leaves your skin plump, hydrated, and nourished with an even and brighter looking complexion. So. Obviously, I use a lot of products that have hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, and the reason I do that is because hyaluronic acid gets into your skin and it can hold a lot of water into your skin. So it plumps up your skin, it makes you look younger, it reduces the appearance of wrinkles, it's amazing, and I love serums that include that. I also love vitamin C because it brightens your skin, so if your skin's looking dull or dehydrated, vitamin C is fantastic, and vitamin C is really good at helping your skin repair itself and repair sun damage. One thing you do need to know about serums with a lot of vitamin C in them, though, is that they do make you photosensitive, so you need to be really careful about wearing your sunscreen if you're using products with vitamin C. It's kind of a funny product. It's, um, it's orange which I was not expecting when I first started using it, and it smells um, kind of like horchata, which I really like. It really does what it says it's going to. It plumps up my skin, it leaves it looking smooth, it leaves it brighter, and so this has been a really fun serum that I've been enjoying through October. Next, the Spot On Blemish Soother says, our carefully formulated spot fighting balm uses potent yet calming and nourishing ingredients to help soothe angry skin at the source, giving you lasting benefits and a more balanced looking complexion. It smells like the other one. It smells like horchata, which I really like. So this, I had like a big red lurking lurker right here. I always get zits right here by my eyebrow and I think it's like the same ones just keep like going back into the surface and then coming back. And I put this on it and like 24 hours later and I have not seen it since. It's just not there. And I don't break out a ton, but October has been like an inordinately stressful month and so I definitely break out when I'm stressed and this has been a godsend this month, let me tell you. The other thing they sent me is not skincare, it is a super hair support serum. And this I actually got from Mike. Um, this says, are your locks frazzled? Is your mane looking a bit patchy? Say hello to healthy, vibrant hair that you can run your fingers through like a boss with Body Mary Super Support Hair Serum. I don't know why I'm reading it like that. Um, <laughs> so it's like a scalp tonic and it has red clover, peptides, peppermint, and caffeine. And I'm sure I've mentioned this before in other videos, but caffeine is really great for increasing circulation. And when you can increase circulation to the scalp, you're helping nourish your hair follicles because any place that your body is not getting circulation, you're not getting nutrients, you're not getting moisture, and things just sort of slow down in that area. So your scalp is no different, and when you nourish your scalp, you're improving your hair. So Mike is always looking for new products for his hair. He loves the whole manscaping, like hyper-groomed appearance, which I like too, I think it's great. And since we're getting old, he's always looking for new products that are gonna help keep his hair as full as it is now and reduce his odds of going bald too quickly. So he's been trying this out and he really likes it so far. He said he likes the smell and it smells, it smells like peppermint. And when he puts it on his scalp, he says that it tingles, but it feels really good. So he's only been doing it for maybe like a week, a week and a half, but he's really enjoying it. And while there aren't like full length hairs that are back, there's a little bit of like peach fuzz coming in between the regular hairs. So that's a good sign. And I also got a coupon code from Body Mary specifically for my subscribers. It is 25% off your entire order and that coupon code is in the description below. I've got a lot of skincare stuff because I love skincare. I have this Clarins Hydra Essential Cooling Gel. It's like a blue gel moisturizer, um, but it absorbs like really quickly, which is always something that is important to me. And then when it's absorbed into your skin, it doesn't feel heavy or sticky or any of that nonsense. So this has been really great um, before bed. So I've been doing the skin peel and then after that I put this over it and they just work in harmony. 
I love it. The next product I have is from Sclear. And I got this because I have surgical scars that I'm still like weirdly self-conscious about and I have tried several products to get them to fade and they have faded a tiny bit from different things. They faded quite a bit actually from acupuncture, which is weird. And then they sort of plateaued. So I've been looking for some kind of a gel that might kickstart the healing process again. And I found this, and this uses eucalyptus oil, tea tree oil, cardamom oil, caraway oil, cinnamon oil, and turmeric. And a lot of those are things that, again, like really increase circulation, and when you can increase circulation to a certain area in your skin, it's more likely to be able to heal itself. So I've been exfoliating the area, and then afterwards I get out and I put this on it. And I didn't really have high hopes because it's such an old scar, it's like six years old now, but this has actually made a little bit of a difference in the appearance, so like the discoloration and the shininess of the scar. So that's been pretty cool. So if you're looking for a good scar product or you know your skin's recovering from sunburns, things like that, or any kind of trauma really, then this is really good. And it's also really good for people who have sensitive skin. And one thing I really love about this is that it uses plant oils as the active ingredients. And I'm gonna read off all of this um, from their site. It's also paraben free, no artificial preservatives, no lanolin, no hydroquinone, no corticosteroids, not tested on animals, no salicylic acid, no glycolic acid, no retinoic acid, no benzoyl peroxide. And I'll link this company in the description below. If you use that link, you get a 15% discount when you buy through that website. So that's pretty cool. And the next product I have is a hair product. This is from Mond. It is the Luminous Repair Mask. And this stuff is seriously amazing. It uses um, anorthosite, which is a mineral. I had never heard of it before, but apparently it's on Earth and on the moon, which is interesting. And you can use this as a regular conditioner, a deep penetrating mask, or even a leave-in product. I don't use shampoo. It's damaging for your hair. It strips the oils. It's awful. But because I have curly hair, the oils from my scalp have a harder time getting all the way down to the ends of my hair. So I still do use conditioner on the ends of my hair, just not on my scalp because I can't use a shampoo to get it off of my scalp. And a lot of conventional conditioners will leave like silicone and other disgusting residues. Um, this stuff, however, rinses out really clean. And honestly, I, um, I didn't style my hair. I let it dry in a bun and then I let it down and this is what happened. It's not frizzy, it's silky, it's smooth and that's really unusual. Usually when I let my hair dry in a bun because it's naturally curly, it will just like frizz up and do disgusting things. But it's super smooth and soft and it doesn't have any residue left over from this stuff. I'm actually gonna try a little bit um, as a leave-in thing. So I'm just using a tiny amount and rubbing it together. And it doesn't feel sticky or oily or anything when I put it in my hair. It's just more lustrous. These earrings, by the way, are beetle wings. Um, I got these at Ren Fair, and I'll find the and I'll find the artist's website and put that in the description below because she's pretty awesome. And these are like the perfect Halloween earrings. Um, yeah, so you can see I just put this in my hair, and it's not greasy. It's not weighed down. It's just more moisturized. It's not tested on animals, which I love. So this stuff is really cool. It has that mineral liquefaction thing and delayed deployment factor, which is a fancy way of saying that even after you rinse it out, it still keeps working. So I've been enjoying that mask quite a bit this month. Next, a company called Glory Bee sent me a box of bath bombs and I've already used one. And they are just the cutest thing and they smell Amazing. I already used the Clementine Lavender one, and I'm just gonna open one. Um, I can smell them through the wrappers because they're so heavily fragranced. And it's like, it's this amazing citrus scent, and it is so, oh, it's just so relaxing and just beautiful. It's beautiful. I love this. I think I'm just gonna like leave this open in my room because honestly, this entire room is gonna smell like this bath bomb in a few minutes and it's wonderful, I love it. 
and they have all these great like natural moisturizers in them vitamin E, jojoba, grapeseed, almond, avocado, shea, and olive oils um, as well as mango, shea, and cocoa butters, which is part of the reason why they work so well. The first one that I used was the yellow one, and it left my skin feeling so freaking soft and smelling so good, and they just smell like beautiful, natural, essential oils. It's just so good for your psyche to take that, you know, half hour to 45 minutes, draw a bath, put a bath bomb in, and just take care of yourself. <laughs> Next up is a supplement, and this is Cellul. I actually did a video pretty much like specifically about how I've been using this product, and I was so surprised that it actually worked. So this stuff is pretty cool. It, um, it has a few ingredients in it. One of them is zinc, one of them is superoxide dismutase from melon, um, and their ingredient, the SOD, that's what makes the biggest difference with your skin's fibrosis. So. It increases your skin's lipolysis and reduces the size of the adipocytes. So your adipose tissue is like the fatty tissue in your body and this is kind of helping it redistribute itself. And it didn't work like on a deep, deep level. Like if I squeeze my thighs, I still see a little bit of cellulite, but it's not just like there hanging out all the time now, which is amazing, you know, from just taking a supplement and not increasing my exercise at all. It actually worked and that's pretty crazy like how many products actually reduce cellulite and have actually been scientifically proven by several studies so that's pretty cool I'll put the link to their website in the description below and you can go and review all the scientific information that's on there and the way that the product works and the reason it works and all that good stuff the makeup item that I have been enjoying October is the perfect red lipstick in my opinion this is the Jolie Rouge from Clarins and it is just it's not orangey it is a great formula it goes on really smooth I'm actually gonna put some on right now so you don't get it on your teeth still got some on my teeth I'm just talented like that the perfect red lip and I don't even need to use lip liner with this it's just it's so pretty Next, I have a home decor product, which I don't show you a lot of in these videos. These are from Displate. You can see my ring light reflecting in them. And I got these two for my bedroom. I haven't hung them up yet. This one is a whale. This one is an octopus. And they honestly, it took me so long to pick out the ones that I wanted because they have so many different designs to choose from. It's absolutely insane. And I also got a map that we hung up in the living room already. So they're limited edition prints, which is really cool, and they're printed on metal. So like, can you hear that? And the way that they go on the wall is actually really cool too. So they all come with this magnetic square, and it has an adhesive backing that you just peel off, and then you can stick the adhesive to the wall, so then you just have the magnet piece on the wall, and then if you need to move the display, just a little bit, you don't have to keep drilling holes in your wall. You just reposition it where you need it and leave it, which is awesome. Especially for people like us who are renting um, and don't want to be drilling hole after hole in the walls. So those are super cool and of course they also sent me a coupon code so you can get 20% off and that code is in the description below. And the last two items for this rundown for October favorites, Grin and Barrett from OPI. And then the Brilliant High Shine Top Coat, also from OPI. And it's actually really similar to the nail polish that I think I showed you in my last favorites video. It's just a little bit dustier, a little bit lighter. It's like the palest mauve I've ever seen and it's just so pretty and it's one of those nail polishes that I can actually keep on my fingernails if I'm on set and it's probably not gonna be an issue because usually I have to do nude nails. But this is just like, a little bit more interesting and it's hard to see on the camera of course but it's just enough color that I don't feel completely boring. 
I think that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrinocity. Check out my podcast at mdxpods.com. And if you enjoy this video, please click the like button. It really helps me out. <laughs>